out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna come in playing. It's the last thing on our mind. So cry much if you really really wanna stop crying. Be safe and home. 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 Be safe There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on our minds. So cry much if you really really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold 'cause someone's always beeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like Martin Luther King. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on our minds. So cry much if you really, really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat. I never wear gold 'cause someone's always beeping by the fender. Still cry much. Came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. You all know that is not true. Especially good evening to all those of you who are looking at me on Facebook, all those of you who are looking at me on all the different apps, all those of you on 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 YouTube, all those of you on ianallen.org, all those of you who have downloaded the app. Especially good evening to you, and you can look at crime much from all over. You know, ladies and gentlemen, very interesting. And I, you know, if I tell you something, I was looking at all the. You know, there's a lot, a lot of crime. And could you all get back that? Could you all get back that video where the commissioner of Jamaica was speaking about the guns and how they they're going to enforce stringent measures with respect to those who are in possessions possession of firearms? Let me tell you something. Eh? Let me tell you something. We have a crime problem here, and some of you might get really, really upset with me. What what I realize is fueling. The crime in this country is the possession of illegal firearms. How much murders, everyday murders, are being committed by the use of illegal firearms? And ladies and gentlemen, these guns, everybody know they are coming. Maybe some, well, not too much, by the front, by by the port, by recently came on a, a the place in Macbean. There was the name of that area there. Where, where, where customs have their um, by Medway, but nevertheless, these things are coming on vessels from Venezuela. A lot of firearms, and if you ask me today, had I been in charge, here what I would have done. I would have come to the conclusion. I would have come forward and say, we need to lessen the load. We need to lighten up the place a little bit. We have been very accommodative to the non-nationals. We have been very, very accommodative. Over 20,000 of them came to Trinidad and they get registered. But you have to understand, our economy can't sustain them for so long. Our health sector can't sustain them. And I think we have, we, you, know, you know, when somebody have outlived their, um, what do you say it? Their presence. I think that we should, you know, let them and give them notice, let them go back. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the Venezuelans let them go back. 
let them go back. If up to me, I tell them, let them go back. Let's sneak, let's sneak down a little bit. Start to tell them, well, by December, you'll have to go back. You'll have to go back home. It's sad, but I mean, some of you who maybe have children with them and whatnot, well, that is different, but you'll have to go back because it, 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 it creates, an, it creates a lot of problems for us. A lot, a lot of non-nationals are involved in crime. We saw the chopping up of the two men in, from Enterprise. That was done by, 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 by Spanish nationals. And don't ask me how I know. There's a big drug trade in Trinidad. And what was happening before is that... Where's my sign for here? Yeah. This is the drug man. This is the Trinidadian. This is Venezuela. Venezuela deal with the middleman, and then the middleman takes it to the man, to the real drug man. The gun, the drugs, and whatnot. Venezuela got rid of the middleman, leave the country, come down here, lays in with, with, the, with the leader himself, the man in charge himself, shooting a call, bringing down the thing so they have no use for Trinidadians, no middleman again. And that is what is contributing to crime. The use of, that's how guns coming in. And unless we'd already put down our forbidden, let me tell you something. You mark my word, the government will have to come to that conclusion. And even though it is hard, even though they, they play a role within the, you know, they, 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 they work very hard, but it's very it's sad to say Peter will have to pay for Paul. We have to lessen the load. It is hard upon us now. And we need to bring law and order. It's like they have overstayed their welcome. And some of you might not agree with me, but you'll have to agree because eventually they'll have to come to that. Send back, send them back. Send them back. And persons who are bringing, who are caught on the sea, bringing firearms and transporting persons should, we, we will start to face, they should face a minimum of, a minimum of five years in prison. Possession of firearm, human trafficking, that is different, that is more jail. But up front, if you, are, if you are caught on a vessel and you are the captain of this vessel transporting illegal immigrants, brother and man, you're going to get jailed for three to five years. Unless we don't start to put down stringent measures with respect to those we can't put a boat every day to watch the sea to Marco. But if anybody is caught, mind you, and when we get these girls and them down here, or we get the Venezuelan national, and they say who bring them and could prove that partner is jail, Israel jail. If they could take us to the boat, and that is how that is how we could deal with crime in Trinidad. Our crime rate, because a lot of the Venezuelan nationals, they're taking jobs, they're running drugs. And that is what, and it's going to get worse than this. It, listen to me, it is going to get worse than this. It is going to get worse than this if we'd already put down our foot. Because Jamaica tried everything. Jamaica tried bringing commissioner from abroad. They tried everything. They tried um, gun amnesty. They tried all kind of thing, and they realized that their crime rate was increasing. And they had to take the bull by its horn and something that this government fears, something this government do have the testicular fortitude to do, something that, 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 that Heinz can do, take the bull by its horn and start to deal with the elements who's contributing. It just cannot work. It's sad to say that let them go back. While there was a, while there was, it was terrible in, 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 in really terrible during the pandemic and even prior to that, we, we made accommodation here, but we can't do no more. We cannot do no, do no more because it's getting worse and worse unless we don't put down our foot. And that is all you have to do, you know. Put more measures in place to deal with the traffickers, those, those drug, people who, who are doing drug, tra drug um, trafficking and whatnot, if, and we find them on the sea, or you find a captain with a boat and three, four Venezuelan, well, he had to go to jail. It's only two ways about that. And when that word started to go around, 
nobody will take that chance to come. Nobody will be take that chance and try to enter illegally because they will know what when they if we only catch them, they will feel the full brunt of the law. And even if we catch them on the sea, come in here. If we have to do a new unit in the prison, costing 30 or 40 million, we'll have to do it. And let them be incarcerated until their time is up and let them know it just don't work. You'll have to be like America. You'll have to be like countries out there. Because we, our economy cannot sustain it. We, we can't sustain that no more. Our health system can't sustain that no more. As much as we like them and we have great friends, but you will come to that. Forget the sex, forget the this, forget the that, forget who nice, who this, who that. Yeah, they're nice, everything nice. But think about it. I look at the, I, because let me tell you something, I watching that video where they stabbed that fella. It have plenty of them have rage. Their temperament is different to ours. They, they, they will deal with you differently. Whether they like it or not, they do business. They cuss in police, they do all kind of thing. And they are becoming a law unto them own selves in Trinidad. And we cannot allow that. And as long as we leave them, we will face suffer the consequences. And today we have to congratulate um, Jamaica. When they, when they tried everything, this is what they did with the illegal firearms. Go ahead. The person that we catch with the gun is the murderer. So he might not be doing the murder then, but in Jamaica there is no purpose for an illegal firearm but to kill somebody. There is no animal. We don't have nothing to hunt. We don't have anything else to do with the gun. It cannot chop cane and it cannot peel fruits. It's not a knife, it's not a machete, it's a gun. It has one purpose, and that is to shoot people. And an illegal gun is there to shoot people and do murders. That's what it's there for. Now, we've done a lot of lobbying. Yesterday, the new Firearms Act passed the lower house and is on its way to the Senate. What that means is that for those people in the illegal gun trade, whether you possess it, traffic it, transport it, bring it into the country or whatever you do with it, you will be facing sentences of 15 years and upwards. You know what that means? I want you to say this has significant impact. It means that the guy who you saw with the gun and gets caught, you don't have to worry about him again for a long, long time. That is, for us as the police officers, that will make a huge difference because the team in Westmoreland has seen these guys like a revolving door. They've been in our custody, they've been out, they've been charged for illegal cause, they have paid their fine, they've gotten there one year and they're back out to do the same things. As much, you see, and Jamaica tried everything. They tried everything, but they realized the gun, the gun, the gun. What causing people, what causing people to die? What causing people to, to come out here with firearms? Somebody bringing the firearm from Venezuela and everybody know that. And we, 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 we are dealing with another gang. We are dealing with people who just chop up people in pieces. How many videos you have seen where, where, where this, these Spanish nationals chopping up people in their own home country? Chopping up on the pieces, cutting up their neck, pulling out the organs. And you remember the two boys we saw from Enterprise? Spanish was involved. I know what, and get back that video, and you know what is frightening today? The persons that committed that act, they are still around. They are still among you in the mall. They are still among you in the traffic. They are still among you in the parties, in the clubs. When they go, they have attitude. That I, somewhere I went, and I remember, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, some bouncer fell up. I went and I probably didn't know why I went. I was just trying to enter. And, uh, uh, and I said, I was telling somebody, I said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not going to let no illegal person come by boat to play the justice me on my own soil. You know? He better know what time will the boss will come out one time. So I'm sorry, Mr. Allen, really, you know? Yeah, but they have a real attitude. As much as they have teachers here, poor engineers here, some are very brilliant. They are very brilliant. Bright minds, good doctors. 
But we, are at, we, we, we have reached a juncture where we have to, they had to go back. Sad to say they had to go back. And I am expressing that sentiment that it, 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 it had nothing you could do. Because we cast, we, 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 we kept, it's, it's, it's like somebody living in your house. But as much as you want to be nice, they're fighting, they're cussing, they're eating all the cheese, they're eating you out, they're contributing, they're going on, but, but it's back and all, only, 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 only confusion, it's only back and all every day is arguing. Just kindly leave, please. I don't want, I want peace in my house. As, my, as a good friend of mine will, tell, will say, I have to lighten up this place a little bit. Alicia say I have to lighten up. Lighten up here, lighten it up, lighten it up. You have to lighten it up. It's too much now, it's too much. You tell me man chopping up people in pieces and still are wrong and Spanish national doing it. Them stabbing their own. You see how they to stab that fella. Stab that boy in a room yesterday. Stab him with that bottle. The boy dropped down on the ground. And while he dropped down, they're kicking him in the face. Because that's the rage they come with. Keep that back and all out of my country. We have done our part. So those who... Who are familiar... Two Spanish nationals were injured in, 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 in the Africa. Two Spanish nationals. The next one, he dead. He, he, he dead on the ground there. He living? Well, both critical. Stab him up with a butter. My puncture, the boy lungs. And I, 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 I felt really sorry. But imagine if it's our nationals. So that you can't even talk to them. They have a real attitude. Okay, forget if they're taking your husband, that you and your husband business. I don't have nothing to do with that. If they take your man, but that you and your, your man and their man, I don't have nothing to do with that. But we're talking about the economy, where health is concerned, where our safety is concerned. Those are the two issues I'm looking at. Health, we cannot sustain them in the hospital. You already have to wait. You go to the hospital, they're just making sure and taking people. They just find somebody and want, if you want to make a child, but it is a strain on our economy. With crime, it is a strain on our national security. And unless we don't make up our mind, that is all. We don't need all this other thing enough. And strengthen, strengthen the gun laws again. Strengthen it. Strengthen it. That is all. We don't, and you see, you're hearing curfew, curfew. And that is why Fitzgerald Hines came out today. Is there a video where he said it? Let's hear it. The engagement hosted by the chairman of the National Security Council, the Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, along with other members of the National Security Council, and at which the Commission of Police, elements of the executive of the police service, all of the divisional branch section commanders of the police service, and a few others, we invited to engage with us on behalf of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. The Prime Minister articulated the correct position that our purpose and engagement was not to tell the police how to do their work. The only persons authorized under the laws of Trinidad and Tobago, in particular, the Police Service Act, Chapter 1501, to carry out police work, to investigate crime, to suppress crime, is the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. But we are the government and we have policies and we have uh, policy positions that we took the opportunity to share with the police commissioner and his team today. And of course, to find out from them what can we do as a government to enhance their capacity to go out there in defense of the safety and security of the people of Trinidad and Tobago in this. What am I playing all this for? Where is it that he said that, that, that where um, there's no, um, no, no. Okay, but some many, some many that interview said that, but that the, they, they, they never considered have enforcing a curfew. This place is easy to, this place is easy, you know, and Gary did it, okay, 
I ain't no friend. I ain't, I ain't not no. Okay. Gary, my partner, my good friend. Forget everything. But Gary had an approach, and there was a certain degree of fear, but then politics started to play. So it just goes to show there's evidence that we could deal with the crime. There's evidence that these people could be haunted down. And let me tell you something. When you deal with monsters, you have to operate like a monster. You want to turn monster, bandit turn in monster, police are to turn monster too. I understand this. I understand this like a science, you know. I understand this like how I come here every day and know what I have to do. I understand that, you know. But the upstairs don't understand that. The prime minister don't seem to understand that. The ministry of national security don't seem to understand that. That when, you, when they become monsters, you have to deal with them like monsters. You have to fight fire with fire. That is all. You have to do it. You have to do it. And some things are necessary. Look back at all the... Look back at Guyana. Look, why, why, why do you think Guyana is in this position? Because you think Trinidad bad? A couple of years ago, they are the worst gangs, the worst set of gang, gangs in Guyana. They had massacre, a man going out, gun, they pulling you out of certain parts of Guyana, shooting you, all kind of thing. Real gang thing. They are, they are belly. They had they are belly. In Guyana, they have belly. They are real belly. They're different. Any bad man up in the hills, multiply them by 100 and put them in Guyana. But what did Barrett Jack do? What he did? What the former president did? They put a team together. They put a team together, a special unit. And they do what was necessary in maintaining law and order. And today, Guyana, crime is of no... They, 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 of course, you will have the... It's a population. You will have the killing. You will have the murders. You will have domestic violence. Yeah, of course, you will have cases. But it has dropped significantly. Because they had to go after the gangs. What is happening in this country? The, the gangs are coming after us. But nobody's going after them. All the meeting and high profile thing in, in diplomatic center. That is, that is not sending a signal. We need to go after them and relentlessly smoke them out. You need to, they need to be pursued. What they have done now, what the gangs have done, they have turned their guns on the, on the normal the normal, decent, and, and law-abiding citizens, they're invading their homes, they're beating them up. Like I just heard, when you pass the Kali Temple in Brickfield, some temple in Brickfield, they beat up a man last night and take his engine. The thief in your engine in, in Brickfield, the thief the man engine, he don't know where you're going to engine, it's about forty, fifty thousand dollars Handful and people desperate, and that is how we have to deal with them. Too much people. And you see, I will tell you something. I will tell you something. People don't kill people just so. A man don't walk up to the next man and see him in a can, gun him down and walk out back. Everything has a story. A notorious man like Robocop. He told me that, you know. As much as he, he didn't know, he never come wrong me. But everybody know Ro, Robocop had his, uh, had his way and he did his things. Right. But he told me, he said, Ian, people don't kill people just so. A man don't gun down a man in a woman in a bed just so. Because you don't know what the man doing. Everybody in this country like to cut a flick. You know? They like underhand thing. They like an extra money on the side. They like to buy fires. A man want nine to point the waist and play ranking. Pay a 15,000. He want a kilo. How do you think those two boys died in, from the enterprise area? Those two boys died. Do you know how they died? They were chopped up in pieces. They were chopped up in pieces, as you can see the video here. No, where, where, where they were taking their parts. Right. Don't get your undies in a bundle. You ought to scream like that. Yeah. But you know why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because... Everybody know. They do all the transport. They transport thing. Yeah, they transport. They have somebody to drop. You know what I mean? They transport thing. They transport for somebody. They spin back. They went with somebody and take it in a room of the drugs. But you know what they did? During the week, this little one here, he had a kilo in, a, in, in, in the mall. He was in the mall one day, the Thursday before. 
trying to, they, they, they were trying to sell a kilo. It's sad. But they went down a road that they became a victim, uh, they, they, um, um, a victim of their own demise because they went down that road. You understand? So sometimes everything has a story. As much as we, but we, but we now have to protect the innocent children, innocent people that walk in the road. Too much people getting killed with stray bullets. Everybody running a road. Every, everybody want to sell something. So, ladies and gentlemen, this first break, we have three breaks within this twenty minutes. Liquor Construction Services, Fab Indian Expo right opposite here. Extra food, plenty for twenty. Panel multi symptom. Neo Eyewear with all your special for with, with glasses and whatnot. Serenity uh, Hills Palace and SNS Passad with all their specials. You look out for them on this first break. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services, and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience, and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand, and more. Equipment rental available. 20-ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps, and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. This Diwali, visit your best choice. Fab India Expo, opposite Medford Gas Station, Shagonas. Get elegant outfits, matching jewelry, furniture, footwear, handicrafts, household items and so much more. Extended opening hours until Diwali, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. The Mid Center Mall Christmas Flea Market is now open for bookings. Call 3406565 to book your booth now. It's back. Indian Style Expo is back at the White Tent opposite Center of Excellence, Makoya. Get goods from India, Pakistan, China, Malaysia, and other countries. Live entertainment daily and Indian food court, all at the Indian Style Expo opposite Center of Excellence. We keep on spreading the love with extra foods, plenty for 20. Chef made vinegar, 5 for $20. Joe Sing noodles, 4 packs for $20. Swiss pasta cuts, 4 packs for $20. Nestle Green Butterfly, 4 for $20. Golden brand margarine, 3 for $20. Grapefruit chicken hot dogs, 2 packs for $20. Chef made brown sugar, 2 packs for $20. Kiss milk or whole wheat bread, 2 for $20. And so much more. Plus, check us out on Facebook and Instagram for even more specials. Extra foods, always extra for less. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished, air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside, fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Just like in the in the in the in the seventies to the eighties, you know they used to have a bus picking up all Ghanaians, national illegal Ghanaians, and they, they are telling you, they said, "Treat them, boy, watch me." 
like the worst, the worst. But you see, when, when Tosti Man and Trinidad and government official who have their brutal and thing, you know, it actually, it, it, it have government official they have brutals, right? You know? That when they start to see nice thing now, they start to say, now leave them, they'll come in. But today we suffer, we suffering. I, and I tell you, even those with landlord, the, the landlord who want to, who want to rent apartments to illegal immigrants and all them back and all thing, you just have to charge them. Because it is, it, is a whole, it is a whole, you have to do it, you have to do it in order to really lighten up this place and bring some, con, some kind of law and order. You have to do it because it's too much now. It's just too much and it is unbearable. We had a problem with nobody, you know. I mean, I mean, initially when they started, we went and behind them and a lot, they, they committed crime and we got them back and thing, but you go after them, but it's telling you. They have, they have to come even and put stringent measures for those who even rent apartments and buildings and, you know. No, you have to do it because it's like, it, 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 it's, it's unbearable. Nobody hear them, I don't hear them. I, I mean, I have a lot of friends who are, who are Venezuelan national. I know a lot of girls from South. I know people, and um, they're nice girls, they can't watch people by lazy lizard, they work very hard, but I mean, they're nice, they, they're trying, but it is something in our economy that is really, it's terrible, it is really, really terrible, and as much as Trinidad people are very lazy, Trinidad man real lazy, you know, like real lazy people, lazy, lazy, they're lazy, that's why they never have, they never have, that people just never have. Lazy trades, man. They don't want to come to work. They'll come late. Imagine I giving you a work, but I had to, I had to come and I, I had to come by your house and pick you up. What madness is that? Why well, had to wait when it's convenient when you don't eat your food and thing and then come and you are coming to work because the rain set up and how can I do this? And as much as these nationals they work in, they them coming to work, them what they them what they but you got, it, it had to come to something. You can't have your cake and still eat it. You can't have your cake and still eat it. You cannot have your cake and still eat it. Um, the police service is invited. The police service commission is inviting the public to share their opinions on the performance of Trinidad and Tobago Police Service through its public trust, confidence, and satisfaction survey of the TTPS. Members of the public will be allowed to participate in a survey, in the survey from Tuesday, the first of November to the twenty-second. The survey will collect information on a series of critical issues related to the public perception of the police. Now that is dotishness. That is dotishness. Because the police, the people will tell the people, let me tell you something, that is stupid, that is demoralizing police. Because obviously everybody can say the police are working. Because crime out of control, we can say, nah, them police, yeah, as much as you know, but after they ask some questions, they can say, nah, them, people don't have trust, they don't have confidence. And then it have the, the, the police elements that, that align themselves with the drug laws, with the criminal elements in the community. It, have the police, the, the police, you can look at it right, right in Charlieville, in an apartment building on your left, as you're going outside by a bar. Police vehicle park up by the apartment whole night, smoking, the people smoking weed, men doing gun transaction. Yes, in an apartment where they have two, two apartments, two big apartments, three, four, three story apartments or four story apartments. And they're doing it. Normal, normal, normal. So when people see that, so having that, I no problem. We just have to go after the criminals. Just go after them and start to clean up the place. Also, 28-year-old um, Adiel Small, AK. Twenty-eight-year-old Adiel. Okay, let me start with this. The murder toll for the year thus far stands at 508, following the killing of a man at Phoenix Park E-Tech facility at Phoenix Park Road, California. For October alone, there were 59 murders. Now, I, I cannot put this together, but I, I, I didn't want to use it, but I'll use it for you. Okay? I put this together for you to understand the crime situation. For October alone, there were 59 murders recorded. While for the same period last year, there was 57. So something now working. It had worked last year and it had worked this year. So last year, the same date, it was 57 in October. Today, and in October, yesterday, it is 59. What working? Tell me what working. Nothing working. 
It's just not working. And now you're coming with a survey to ask everybody, you like how the police working? Why the hell was it then? They're not doing nothing. Wait, 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 wait. But you can't blame the police. Alone, you can't blame them alone. You have to blame the landlord. You have to blame the employers. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people, a, a lot of factors contributing to this. People don't understand it. They don't understand it. They don't just say, you blame a man and say, well, die them fault. No. There's a lot of people. The boatman, the fisherman, we're bringing them in. The coast guard who, who link up with them. The transport man from Cedrus out to Penal who link up with them. The, the landlord will link up with them. And then you come to the police who trying to protect the normal citizens, getting blamed. And some police who go on with the girl and them too. All kind of thing. It's a mayhem. It's total mayhem. This is like a, um, how does it say about that kind of thing? A, a white rice, is it? A potpourri? There's a whole mix up thing here. But you have to bring law and order. Because last year was 57 murders, today is 59. Today, 2022, 59. Last year, ending October, was 57. What working? Nothing working. 46 year old back operator Sylvan Sugrim, Sukram, AK Brahma, of Caratel Tatuga Road, Bonaventure Gasparilla, succumbed to his injuries. He sustained during an incident with a co worker on Saturday. Sugrim, an employee of FM, of FM Contractors Contracting Services, passed away around 4 30 while warded at the San Fernando General Hospital, where he was warded unconscious state since Saturday. He was reported choked by two co-workers during an incident while they were at a work at the company's site at Phoenix Park, E-Tech Park, Phoenix Park Ro Road, California. FM Construction Civil Limited is based in Canopia and is specialized in water pipeline construction, installation and repairs. According to police report of the incident, around 3.15 on Saturday, the deceased was on duty in the vicinity of the company's site office of, at Phoenix Park, E-Tech Park along with other employees when he had an altercation with a co-worker. The incident escalated and was, was quelled by other workers, but Sokram subsequently collapsed and was taken to the Kuva Hospital where he was treated and transferred to San Fernando. In the short reports on the incident said that Sokram was struck for a prolonged period of time, which may have rendered him unconscious during the incident. Hmm. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, meanwhile, there are reports of an incident at La Romaine military base in which a soldier was shot in the head and taken to hospital. We understand. In fact, I just got information about the name about the soldier and whatnot. We understand that the incident happened sometime after 3 p.m. on Tuesday, the 1st of November, inside the dormitory. A loud explosion was heard, and other soldiers responded and found their colleague on the floor with gunshot injuries to the head and a firearm next to the body. He was medically attended. He was medically attended to and rush to San Fernando General Hospital where his condition remains unknown but we understand the victim is on life support. Also ladies and gentlemen, there is a shooting incident and uh, not connected with this. Yeah, in connection with this. This is a report I just got on Tuesday the 1st of November 2022 at approximately 15 on, uh, 1500 hours, it was reported that 10810 Corporal Clark shot himself in the head with a service pistol. I have the serial number, the 4780074326, while on duty in Camp La Romaine. It was confirmed that the incident occurred in the barrack room. No report thus far can confirm it was an accident or deliberate. He was taken to the accident emergency at San Fernando just well. His mother was informed and Lieutenant Richard is liaising with her. The TTPS are at Camp La Romaine and have been told to wait out until approval has been granted for them to enter and conduct the investigation. The area of the incident has been cordoned off. So police on the scene, but they can't get to go in, they're to cool itself. Right? I just want you to know that. So I just letting you know as it comes, I got the serial number and whatnot. The next ad, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to welcome. My good friend, my good friend, ladies and gentlemen, my good friend. I wonder if he has the pillows in him. My good friend, he, years ago he came out with a great pillow, a pillow guy. Well, radical trading, I importers of wholesale and importers of wholesale and retailers of 
All the poultry fabric, textile and accessories for automotive furniture, sewing accessories and tools. Their, their four locations are Century Drive, Macoya, Macoya, Henry Street, Port of Spain, Montreal, Chagonans and Separo. So, radical trading is back. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you this today. Don't hang out where you can reach it. They have great upholsterers out there. If you know your set could change, and you could change it, because I have done that already. You know, pelt away, oh, just pelt away, something, just what you have poetry to change, and they have the real good stuff. He has good stuff. He has good stuff. And some of you might say, well, let me go and take out that set. But you can't pay nothing. You can pay December when January comes. You want no money? And that's why I tell everybody, that's why I tell everybody that. And let me teach you something. I don't get excited in December, yeah? As much as November and December, we have a lot of ads. I don't get excited. Let me tell you, let me teach you a strategy. And you know who taught me that? O'Brien. Yeah, the general manager of Synergy, O'Brien. He said, when you make money, pay for January and February. I say, what? Then I go not have money in December. He said, try it. And it's been a couple of years well, I'm doing it. So when everybody crying out, when everybody crying out, because they spend all their money in December, they buy shoes, they buy drinks, they buy this and they buy that, and the bills pack and the bills pile up in January. You have no money. But if you, when you're seeing money in December, take your money and pay your rent for January. Pay whatever bills you have. And if God is on your side, it will go over to, January, to February. You understand? So again, know what you're doing. Before you, be, 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 before you think about going and take out this and that, try to cover back the old, the old sets. Extreme glass stack. The floodgates and the, the enclosures and whatnot. Um, I saw, I, in fact, I see Freeport Medical Center is back is with us, looking to get a CT, a CT scan done at affordable price. Need to start dialysis soon. Freeport Medical Center offers it all. Your one stop medical shop, contact Freeport Medical Center, Freeport Mission Road. Also, I want to say a special to Dibbles Auto Parts. Also, Modern Caribbean Enterprises on board, Fab Indian Expo opposite Medford Gas Station. And they're booking for Christmas flea market at Mid Center Mall, India, uh, India, India in, in Style Expo, and um, is back at the White End opposite Center of Excellence. So they have Center of Excellence, and they have Mid Center Mall. All right, so you can, they have great stuff. Sad booking and Passad, SNS Passad Supermarket. Right. So I'm, also, I'm going to do another break. Wings of Care, home for the elderly. Number one home for our loved ones at Wings of Care. So if you think you have your loved ones and they're there, you're able. And instead of you tie them up and you just can't handle it. And stop taking the pension. Make arrangement with Wings of Care. Also, Gable X, the number one manufacturer of the plastic bottles in the whole of the Caribbean. They advertise with us. Look at them and look at them well. Bright ideas, great lights. A television set, 50-inch, 4K, $3,500, yeah? $3,499. A 50 inch, 43 inch, full HD, 2899. Yeah. Located in Rio Clara, Princess Tongue, Point, point 14, Gulf City, Marble, and Shagona, Bright Ideas. They're right on Motion City and Road here. Yeah. Glass and cladding experts, great people, great shock wheels. They have a lot of sale. Pasadi Food King, they're on every break and they're doing exceptionally well. And Tricom Commodities, hybrid vehicles and whatnot. All those batteries are giving problems. You need to check them out. They have truck batteries, both, both industrial use and for European vehicles. You know, Benz and Mercedes and BMW carry special batteries. You should check Tricon Commodities. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, another reason to watch. We have 2 million viewers. 2 million plus. 2 million plus. I'm going to check and see how far we have reached. For October alone, was 2 million. Look at here. Look at here. This is a new one. Your hard work have paid out publishing more videos contributed to your channel. More views than usual. What? 2.5 million? For when? This is for October. And look, we have gone up now to 12 million. Just on YouTube and the analytics. Your video got 12 million. 80,509. Watch it, 12 million. Well, I can't tell how much money you're making, but 
12 million. I didn't take all that part. <laughs> I can't tell you. I just can't tell you. But 12 million. 12 million. You, you, you see that? Just look what YouTube's saying in October. Just look back at it. I can't believe it. Look, we lost it already. Your hard work has paid off. Publishing more videos contributed to your channel, getting more views when you shine. When you say your channel, which means to say that's crying what shows and your ads. 2.5 million just in October alone. Wow, unbelievable. And you still acting. And that's why everybody here who advertise with us, they are super smart, they are super brilliant. Let's take a break. Now, this is Radical Trading. You know that? And them have everything to cover anything. Radical Trading have the best fabric designs for your poster in needs. Yeah. The furniture, car, boat, tent, even material for school bags. This one looks really nice on my couch, boy. They even making pillow too. Sprang. Oi. Oh, shucks, I forget my money. Serious? They could pay for it for me. Me and my big mouth boy, I want a Radica get thing to cover mouth yet. Radica Trading for locations nationwide. Make an investment to protect your property. Extreme Glass Tech offers you floodgates, which have been proven and tested. We carry various sizes, starting from $2,500. Send us a photo of your door opening, name and location, and we will send you an estimate. Lifetime warranty guaranteed. We also provide services for frameless bathroom enclosures, storefronts and cladding, aluminum windows, and much more. Wholesale and retail available. Call or WhatsApp 467-8906 or come into our showroom. Located number one, Allen Lane, Eastern Main Road, Sangre Grande. Book your installation now. Extreme Glass Tech. Best prices guaranteed. Looking for an approved dialysis center? Need a CT scan urgently? Doctor visit for a checkup. Freeport Medical Center is here for you. Conveniently located at 105 Freeport Mission Road, Freeport. Contact us now at 673-1069. Drive in to Dibbles Auto Parts. Specialize in automotive spare parts for all Japanese made vehicles Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi, and more. We stock engine, suspension, and body parts, headlights, tail lamps, and more. We also carry the latest models of roll on, roll off vehicles. Our team is ready to assist, so there's no worry. Call or WhatsApp. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram or visit our three locations. Our prices and quality can't be beaten. Dibbles Auto Parts. We lead, others follow. Enjoy cleaner, clearer skin with Vico Turmeric Face Wash. Cleanses like no other cleanser. It's antibacterial, effectively removes makeup, blackheads, excess oil, and deep down dirt. Accelerates natural skin renewal for healthier, smoother looking skin. Apply Vico Turmeric Vanishing Cream or Body Lotion for a brighter, more radiant complexion. Available at Pennywise stores, pharmacies, supermarkets, cosmetic counters, Agents Modern Caribbean Enterprises Limited. Be sure to look for Export Pack and the Modern Caribbean's logo on genuine Vico products. This Diwali, visit your best choice. Fab India Expo, opposite Medford Gas Station, Shagonas. Get elegant outfits, matching jewelry, furniture, footwear, handicrafts, household items, and so much more. Extended opening hours until Diwali, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. The Mid Center Mall Christmas Flea Market is now open for bookings. Call 3406565 to book your booth now. It's back. Indian Style Expo is back at the white tent opposite Center of Excellence, Makoya. Get goods from India, Pakistan, China, Malaysia, and other countries. Live entertainment daily and Indian food court. All at the Indian Style Expo opposite Center of Excellence. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Taking care of your elderly loved one while maintaining life's demands can be a lot. We at Wings of Care are here for you. We offer shared and private rooms, 24-7 patient care, and endless support. Conveniently located in Longdonville. Call Wings of Care today.
Looking to start a business? Want to be the first to introduce your product in a new and innovative package? Then GableX is the perfect partner. GableX is Trinidad and the Caribbean's largest manufacturer of plastic PET bottles and containers. We carry over 100 different shapes and sizes, with the smallest being 125 milliliters and the largest 10 liters. GableX has a bottle for your every need. Call us at 868-665-4110 or WhatsApp 2902536 Experience the power of Magnavox more than a smart TV a better TV available at Bright Ideas the 32 inch HD TV for 15.99 the 43 inch FHD for 28.99 and the 50 inch 4K for 34.99 smart TVs at great low prices with apps for streaming wireless screencasting and so much more so save more with Bright Ideas located in Rio Clow, Princess Town, Point Fortin, Gulf City, Marabella and Chibuanas Bright Ideas bringing happiness home the Glass and Cladding Expert Limited. We supply and install a wide range of aluminum curtain wall systems, store units, glass and patch fitting systems and skylights. Call us for all your glazing and cladding needs. You build it, we clad it. The Glass and Cladding Expert, 4 to 10 Bridal Road, Canopia, Shipwanis. Santana boy, you can pick me up? Yeah, where you? By racetrack wheels. Boy, I went inside and I lose my mind. It's the best in brand name rims and high performance tires for so. They have special, so I make my name. Ha ha ha! Panarine, you don't have a car? Patsy go kill me! Racetrack wheels. Number 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruka. Number 64 Southern Main Road, Chase Village. And number 82 Bethel Main Road, Tobago. Tricon Commodities Limited is your one-stop shop for batteries of all applications. Importer, distributor, and retailer of Aurora, Alpha Line, and AC Delco batteries. We stock sealed, maintenance-free, AGM, start-stop, hybrid, and marine batteries for cars, trucks, boats, industrial use, and all European vehicles at affordable prices. Tricon Commodities Limited, the battery experts. Located at 57 Tragerate Road, Port of Spain. Check us out or give us a call at 628-334. Seven. Welcome to the Pasanzi Food King Supercenter here in Princess Town, where we treat you like family. And today, we're going to tell you and show you uh, some of the satisfied customers we have here at the Supercenter here in Princess Town. What's the best part of shopping here at uh, Pasanzi Supercenter in Princess Town? The fruit. What are some of the things that you look forward to when you come here at Pasad Supercenter? Well, you always get fresh bread every day over here in Princess Town. Ladies and gentlemen, a 28-year-old ideal small AK patch of Mon Monte Grand Tenapuna remains in critical but stable condition at hospital after he was shot about the body during a brazen shooting incident at the corner of uh, Govia, Govia Road and PBR in the priority bus shooting in Eldorado on Monday. CCTV video of the incident shows four men chasing and shooting at Small who ran onto the PBR but fell into a nearby drain at the same time. Acting Superintendent Robain and, Corp and PC Police Constable Campbell of the E99 Command Center were in an unmarked police vehicle proceeding west along the PBR and observed the shooting in progress. The officer challenged the suspect and an exchange of gunfire ensued but the suspect managed to escape in a golden Nissan and Mera motor car which had a false license plate. The car police said were later found abandoned at the corner of Caramat Street and Cora Royal Road, Eldorado, two streets away from the shooting incident. Small was later conveyed to the hospital where he was treated for six gunshot wounds to the back of the neck which causing injuries to the throat, the left chest cavity, the right upper arm and the right lower arm, the right foot and the left foot. The shooting happened around 8.30 a.m. and saw school children and other persons scampering for safety. Small was plying his Nissan and Mera motor car for hire at the time. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man was shot and critically injured. Again, a man was shot and critically injured wound and critically wounded, sorry, during a shooting incident in the capital city of Port of Spain late on Monday, October 20, 
October 2020, the same day he celebrated his 34th birthday. So he, he was celebrating his birthday, Aaron Kempton of Barata. He was shot while a woman who was also seated in the passenger seat of his car escaped injury. When gunman in a black Nissan x trail SUV opened fire on the duo. The shooting happened around 1040 while Kempton was seated in the driver's seat at a, of a blue Honda Elantra, which was facing the solid directly. So, Southern direction at the corner of Broadway and South Key Port of Spain. A black Nissan x ray alongside Kempton vehicle and an occupant fired several shots in the direction. The victim uh, causing the victim to sustain serious injuries. Carly Lee became afraid following when she exited and fled on foot from PDH 2034 in an easterly direction along the South Key. The female fled from the vehicle on foot as Kempton drove off, subsequently crashed the vehicle into a concrete barrier next to the carnage taxi stand. He was taken to Portsmouth General Hospital by officers of Belmont Police Station who were in the area and responded to the reports. So you see, he stopped by traffic lights. Also, ladies and gentlemen, where um, several streets within the Enterprise Chagones community were placed on lockdown last night, so shooting in Enterprise again, yeah? Which at least one man, left one man injured and as police searched for several armed suspects. The shooting happened at Dash Trace Enterprise Shogunas just after 9 p.m. on Monday, the 31st of October, as a white pickup, pickup was driving through the area with at least two male occupants. Reports that several men on the ground opened fire on the vehicle and there was an exchange of gunfire. A station wagon was also said to be involved in the shooting. Police officers who were on mobile patrol near, nearby responded to the gunfire and immediately went for the search of the suspect. The van was discovered crashed off the roadway and riddled with bullets. Police said a firearm was also found inside the vehicle, which also had blood leading them to believe one of the occupants was shot and wounded. A resident identified as Dwayne Bain was shot during the incident. He was discovered at nearby Bagaloo Street and conveyed to hospital. Hmm. Sad, yeah? Real sad. So shooting all over. And that is why we have been calling. And every day we ask, in these hot spots, why we can't have joint army police patrol? That is all. And all you need to do is some of these areas install CCTV cameras. That is all you need to do. Some of the areas entering, entering and exiting, install cameras. But it, you know, and you will see people start to take different directions. Install cameras. That is all you have to do. Install cameras and in some of the street, just ten, get ten or fifteen cameras. The the the, PD, the um, CCTV cameras, and that's it. But they're not thinking Enterprise, Bagaloo, African Ground, parts of Londonville. They need Joint Army Police Patrol, that is all. Also, Venezuelan national dead and another injured on Sunday. The deceased have been identified 28 year old Victor Jose Mendoza of Unity Drive, Estonia, and the injured victim being 19 year old Gabriel Del, Del Valet. Reports are around 845. Mendoza, among other Venezuelan nationals, were lying at Perseverance Road and three armed men ambushed them. So you see, one dead already. So Venezuelan fighting one another. They're fighting. They're shooting. They're shooting one another. Guns, all kind of things. So you see, one dead, one injured. And still, the gunmen, the, 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 the Venezuelans with the guns, still outside there. So they come here, they're shooting up the place. We, they have us living in fear. So then again, we need to go after the landlords. That, that, that rent these, these, just like America. Anytime, anytime you start to harbor illegal immigrants long term, now it's different. But you can get in real problems. And people tell you, even giving them jobs and whatnot long term was real difficult. But suddenly, what we're facing right now, when it's two by two place, just one by two place, we have to put some real measures in place. We don't need a curfew. We, need to sh we, we, don't, we don't need to shut down this place. No. What we need is to enforce the law. You're not to enforce the law. Because look what's going on with, with them. Also, I want to say a special to F&A Hardware and Shopping Center. Also, Caribbean Hair Transplant, as you can see it working. Total Tools One Stop Station, Papuri Road, Passat Supermarket. And speaking about Passat and Piaco Palace, speaking about Passat, I'm looking for this girl. She has been identified as Rachel Dominique. Anybody, anybody know this girl, Rachel Dominique? She needs to get in contact with SNS Passad. Apparently, there's, there's some stuff, some outstanding bills she needs to settle with them. 
they've been trying to reach her at a popular bar. She know, and she knows she's not missing. She, she, she needs to contact the supermarket people. So, because every day her picture is going to be up. So, Rachel, Dominique, you need to contact the supermarket. They've been trying everything to get in contact with you. There's a bill that you have to settle here at SNS Passad. And you see, I'm doing this for all my advertisers. That people are, you know, we need to protect, you know, we advertise with me, but you, you get a certain degree of protection too. We have to make sure people can't up your head. So, Rachel, Dominique, by tomorrow, go and pay a bill by SNS Passad, please. Let's take a fast break. FNA Hardware and Shopping Center and MFA Marketing and Imports. Wholesalers and retailers of hardware and household items, med supplies, appliances, and a wide range of total tools. Open Monday to Saturday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday and public holidays. Total Tools products are now available at One Stop. Total Tools One Stop Tool Station is an authorized distributor and the only registered store in TNT in the entire Caribbean. Get the best prices on pressure washers, drills, water pumps, and so much more at our fully air conditioned store. Find us at number 797 to 799 Papri Road, Lower Barrow Court. Open Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. and Saturday 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or contact us at 3672 or 654-5996. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys, and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols, and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household, and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. The Glass and Cladding Expert Limited. We supply and install a wide range of aluminum curtain wall systems, store units, glass and patch fitting systems and skylights. Call us for all your glazing and cladding needs. You build it, we clad it. The Glass and Cladding Expert, 4 to 10 Bridal Road, Canopia, Shukwanis.
We keep on spreading the love with extra foods plenty for 20. Chef Me Vinegar, 5 for $20. Joe Signals, 4 packs for $20. Swiss Pasta Cuts, 4 packs for $20. Nestle Green Butterfly, 4 for $20. Golden Brand Margarine, 3 for $20. Grapefruits Chicken Hot Dogs, 2 packs for $20. Chef Me Brown Sugar, 2 packs for $20. Kiss Milk or Whole Wheat Bread, 2 for $20. And so much more. Plus, check us out on Facebook and Instagram for even more specials. Extra Foods, always extra for less. Attention all contractors and homeowners. Beat the rain. Get your roofing materials fast. Shop at Varma Steel and collect your materials upon purchase or have them delivered the next day. Varma Steel for high-grade roofing sheets, purlins, steel beams, flashing, guttering, chain link, BRC and decking sheets. Varma Steel's high-grade roofing have a life of 40 to 50 years while low-grade hardware materials have a life of two to three years. Varma Steel, next to the St. Margaret's Police Station, Pleasance Park. Call 659-4008. Champions presents its two-table all Force tournament 11 Bullseye, starting October 31st until mid-December. Over 30,000 in prizes to be won. Registration only 500 per team. Flexible game days. Contact 757-4117 for more info. Are you tired of looking for screws and bolts and not finding them? Look no further. Screwtech Limited, located at number 792 Papery Road, Lower Barrackpour, has everything you need. From bolts, nuts and screws, to washers, anchors and stainless steel products. Open Monday to Friday from 7.30am to 4.30pm. Contact us now at 327-BOLT or 654-5205 or find us on Facebook at Screwtech Limited. Visit our website at www.screwtechlimited.com. If it's not an STI, Brown, it's not a screw. Gate Automation Company Limited for all your gate and motor needs. Our garage doors are durable, reliable, and low maintenance with a triple panel layer design. Suppliers of the Italian manufactured slide gate motors, ideal for residential gates. Call 290 2311 or check our social media for more. Well, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, so at least everybody saw their ad. And again, another reason, we have just, been, for October alone, remember it was 2.3 or some, um, 2 million, 2.3, we have just reached 2.5. So it's 2.5 million, as you can see, for October alone. 2.5 million, so another reason why you should advertise and make sure you get your product on. Can I just YouTube alone, yeah? That is not even Facebook alone, that is not even the app, that is not even the, on, on, on our website, and all different platforms that we have to advertise. That is just our channel, they are loan. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have just crossed 12 million for the year. Amazing, Am really, really amazing. You know, ladies and gentlemen, a, a runaway truck crashed into a wall of, a mo of, mo of the Mukarapu Boys RC School in St. James on Tuesday, the 1st of November, but was stopped in his truck from entering the school yard by a tree. So I tell you, you see how things could happen? You see how things could happen? And remember, ladies and gentlemen, we remember we go from we go we continue our show even though when we come off synergy. So make sure you have the Ian Allen app. Make sure you're looking at on Facebook, Ian Allen Network, on YouTube, Ian Allen Network, or you have downloaded the app on your iPhone or your Android phone. Just go to your Google Play, um, Google Store, Google Play, sorry, Ian Allen app, your iPhone, your Apple Store, Ian Allen app, or you can look at it at ianallen.org. And remember, we start at 5.45. Crime Watch starts at 5.45 every day. Also, a fire truck stall in the floodwaters at Madras Road, Kunipir. Remember just yesterday, I was showing you the, the, the um, look at it. The water at Madras. That's a serious thing. We're not getting technocrats to come out and say, why this place is still flooding like that? Why? So right in Madras, and yesterday I was showing you, Pity has 12 minutes past, 12 minutes past, Eight minutes past 12, you should have seen Madras yesterday. Eight minutes past 12, you should have seen Madras yesterday. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Look at some of the photos on them. Eight, eight minutes past 12. Also, ladies and gentlemen, there was a fracas between teenagers, young adults at Trin City Mall on Saturday. The incident report is started in the old food court and spill outside in the car park. Audio, go ahead. Fighting in Trin City, go ahead.
and gentlemen, there's a correction. Remember, the Prime Minister was, among, was instructed by the court well, to appear and members of his cabinet, um, Fitzgerald Hines, um, Faris al Rawi, Colin Limbert, Marvin Gonzalez, and Stuart Young. That happened on Friday. But on Saturday, the, the, the court issued a correction of its order. Look at here, corrected pursuant to the part of 43, 4310 of the Civil Proceeding Rules 1990. It has amended on this day, the 20th of October 2020, by reason of the court, right? Inadvertently for, for uh, forwarding the incorrect, incorrect version of the amended order for perfection. So the Prime Minister said to go to court. No, the Prime Minister said to go to court again and, his, uh, and the Minister. So the court made a correction. But it was never reported by the media. So, but, but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, there's a, there's a connection with the Gary Griffith issue. So the AG get upset and blah, blah, blah. But remember the, the, the media not in court also. So just to let you, on Saturday, nobody went out on Saturday. So this has been addressed. And the court sent out a release now. So we have that. So no, the prime minister and members of his cabinet do have to go to court. So now you know that. And you're happy about that? Or wherever you, wherever you think, I'll just get the information. Now, also, they say Tobago, very first carnival, was here a success. I find too much of rain in Tobago, boy. We'll have massive parade of band and all kind of back and all thing. Right? Ended with fireworks on Sunday, 30th October. Right? To, to be go try and organize thing to become independent, you know, by yourself, you know, go by yourself. You wasn't to be go to? <clears throat> also, a policeman, let me, let me just give you some regional news. A policeman is nursing gunshot injuries after he was shot and wounded while riding his motorbike in front of the Central Police Station in downtown Kingston early on Tuesday morning. Reports that several men opened fire on the, on, 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 the, on, on the officer as he was riding his bike. The lawman was rushed to hospital, but, but his condition remains unknown. The, the latest incident comes on the heel of the murders of two police officers last month in separate incident. In, in October the 15th, Constable Brian Martin was shot dead at a wake in Ricketts Avenue in Kingston, 13, which left four other people injured. And on October the 20th, Corporal Oliver, Oliver Mullins was gunned down in the line of duty on 3rd Street in Kingston West. See, when you leave, you see what's going on? You have to fight it, you have to fight it. Because they're putting things, they're putting measures in place, they look, they're, they're taking back the streets, they're taking back, and, I mean, you will have collateral damage, you will have collateral damage. And those of you joining the, pol the, the police force, you have to understand that. You have to, some of you might be joining for pension and for, for all the benefit, but you have to understand the work you, the, you know, you have to understand the road you're going down to, yeah? The road you're going down. You have to understand the role you're playing, you know? Just remember that. Remember your position. You just have to remember that. So you see what's going on in Jamaica, but, they, they, but if you know what's going on in Jamaica, they're taking back their streets. Yeah, they're taking it back. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a 70-year-old man was killed in a road traffic accident early on Sunday, the 30th of October, along the Uriah, the Uriah Butler Highway in Trin City, one day after his, his certificate of insurance expired. The deceased has been identified as 70-year-old Anthony Stephens of Building 5 Unit F. Orapun Gardens, Piaco, around 420 WPC Kelly and PC Mahaber of Northern Division Highway Patrol were on static duty at the Trin City intersection where they heard a loud crashing song. Upon investigating, officers discovered a Nissan Tida motor car registration PDG 9395 crashed into the medium of the highway with the driver suffering from head injury. Stevens was taken to Mount Hope, where he subsequently died. So sad. Also, ladies and gentlemen, WPC Susan Duncan was killed in an accident near Gasparilla flyover. 
just, just letting you know the road carnage, what's going on, eh? Just letting you know that. Last person that did in a road accident was the, was the woman police. Open up the lines for me. I call her. Good evening. You are live on Crime Watch. Also, 34-year-old Wendell Phillip, owner of Web Consulting Agency Limited, located in Digo Martin, was arrested on 10 counts of fraud and conversion on Thursday, the 27th. According to police report, during the period of, the, of August 2019 and September 2020, down payments of 20000 37,835,000 were made by customers to a foreign news car dealer. Huh? What? For the purchase of importation delivery of two Toyota Phillies and a Nissan Cube motor vehicle. Seven other persons reported that they made down payments of 55,000, 40,000, 32,000, 22,000, 32,000, 106,000, 11 for the purchase of importation delivery of foreign news. So just to let you know, 34-year-old Wendell Phillip, owner of Web Consulting Agency, has been, ar has been arrested on 10 counts of fraudulent conversion. But what's going to happen with people's money? He take money from, from, from people to bring in car, he never bring it back. And that is so prevalent here. Yeah? That is so prevalent. That is so, so prevalent. And I, I'm happy. I am happy. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, go to reputable car dealers. Reputable car. And tomorrow I'll run back the story, yeah? Go to reputable car dealers. Go, I know where, where which, which part you're not seeing a car. And how can I change up? Look at people giving him money. But again, as I tell you, entire people doing all that. Listen, man. Is that cupboard? And they see Christmas coming. Man looking for down payment for cupboard. Man looking for down payment to build phone to do this, to do construction. Or as they get a down payment, they're busting out and they're gone. You know? So you have to be real careful. November, December is the months of shots. Real people come out with shots to take your money. And let me tell you something. Know how you're hanging your hat. Don't hang your hat where you can't reach it. If you know you can't afford something, do it out. All kind of thing again. No down payment. This, that. Watch me. Own, own a car. Seven years you're paying for a car. You see you going crazy? You can have a cheap car and just use it for now? Oh, you have you are pride. You have pride. That's what you have. You have pride. More be money but champagne taste. Everybody wants you to, everybody, everybody all can have deal, but be very careful how you're spending your money. Consumers out there, be very careful. Be very careful. Facebook are racket with all, some, some um, people sell all kind of things on Facebook, TV, all kind of things. When you're on the TV, it has no plug. They show you TV working. When you collect the TV, they have to go. And next one tell me, say, um, what? He, um, where's the one with the police station and he say child giving trouble? How much money to lose? Them going to buy a car in the night. The, the, the man so sick, eh? And over. He tell them, he say, yeah, what's going on now? They see a car to buy. He say, well, meet me by the police station. So the people said, nah, this is legit thing. Legit. Legit thing, man. The man tell me, meet me by the police station. He can't try. Eh? Yeah, he said, meet me by the police station. The, the, the video call him and thing, right? He do so. When the woman, when the woman by the police station, nah, don't meet me there again, nah? Try to get in trouble like I, like, like I, I, I took go back home. But I will, I will just pack up right here, rub them in her. And video call them in and rub them in her. Yeah? And this is the, and the, and this is the site you're operating from. Yeah? What are you telling them? Let me see. Any messages? Um, could I call you on WhatsApp now? I'm willing to take... The car, but it will have to be on Tuesday. That the car who want to buy the car, that the guy who want to buy the car. And that number two six two six four zero five one nine. Or they should call it. Ask him what you do with the people money. I tell you, go Paul Lock is not see Paul Lock now. Open up the lines. I call again if then you're live on crime watch. Which one is that? With the back operator, boy.
46 year old bar corporator Sylvan Sogrim, Sokram, aka Brahma of Caratal Tatuga. Anybody have a photograph of him? Born Adventure Gasper succumbed to his injury as he sustained you. He sustained during an argument and incident with a co worker on Saturday, 29th October. So, Grim, an employee with FM Contracting Services, passed away around 4 30 a.m. while warded at San Fernando General Hospital, where he was warded in an in, in, un, unconscious state since Saturday. He was reported choked by two co workers during an incident while they were at work at the company's site at Phoenix Park, E Tech Park, Phoenix Park Road, California. FM Construction Service Limited, based in Kunopia. Anybody have photographs of this man, Sylvan Sok Sokrim Sokram, a.k.a. Brahma? According to police reports, I call her, good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. I call her. I call her. Hey. Yeah, go ahead. Ian. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Okay. I think something you see and you don't mean it, man. Okay, what if you're a crazy situation, let me all go pack them up. Okay, thank you. You know what he's saying. The people say, you know, you don't know what he's trying to say. According to police report on, 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 on the incident, around 3 15 on Saturday, the, the 29th of October, the deceased was on duty in the vicinity of the company's site office at Phoenix Park, E Tech Park, along with other employees when he had an altercation. So somebody choked the man and he died. That's still. I know some of you hearing this for the first time. He's been identified. He's a bar co-operator, Sylvan Sogrim, Sokram, a.k.a. Brahma of Caratel to Tuga. If his family or any members who are watching right now get in contact with us, what's up me on 294-4081. Also, there are reports of an incident at Laramie Military Base in which a soldier was shot in the head. That's what we are hearing also. This is the base here. Apparently, po they, 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 no, they're not sure if it's intentional or accidental. Open up the lines. I call her. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. And the guy who was shot in Eldorado yesterday, he's not dead, but he's alive. Okay? He's critical in the shooting yesterday. And hats off to the police to take them on. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Police what? Tell the police. Where you there? Where you there? Constable Campbell giving them fires. Watch, 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 watch. Watch, watch, watch. Look how school children are running. Look, he's shooting back. They're giving you anyway, anyhow, anytime. Watch, watch, watch. Watch Constable Campbell. Burrow, burrow. If you had an IAR or something, a Gali rifle, you'd, you'd, you'd pick up. Way boy. Huh. I call her good evening. You're live on crime much. Six seven one four zero six two. We have two minutes again. So ladies and gentlemen, again, if you have business up the islands or wherever you are watching, because all over the world they are watching us, remember this, we have just crossed 2.5 million in October alone in a population of 1.4 on a one hour show. So remember, if, you're, if you want to advertise your business up the islands, so you might have a business, whatever business you have, and you're interested in, in, in putting your ad on our show, you can WhatsApp me on 2944081. Seriously, WhatsApp me. We have crossed 12 million alone. 12 million alone. I'm very, I'm very, very popular in the world. Huh? This show is very, very popular. TikTok alone is 35 million. You must check me out on TikTok, Ian Allen. 
Hi, caller. Hashtag Hello, my just, name. I Hash... just called to let you know you're doing a very good job. And the uh, people that is in power now should be embarrassed to see how millions of people is watching them control Trinidad and failing at 100%. Wow. It's embarrassing. And that's why they don't to like know me. That the government is allowing this garbage to happen. They are failing the people. They're failing everybody. And where are you and calling Park, from? Brooklyn, New York. Where in Brooklyn are you calling? Crown Heights. All right, all right. Next time I'm in New York, I'll give you a check. Yes, please, please, please. Promise. All right, do, and tell please, them please. I have a big fan base in New York and in Brooklyn. Oh my God. Tell them I said hi. Yes, you do have a fan base, and those millions. I hope the PNM is listening, Raul. Well, we're going to fix this place, you know. We're going to fix it, you know. Let me tell you something. You can't fix it because, you know, in everything that is going on, the people behind the bridge, under the bridge, on top of the hill, everybody, we are PNM. They don't care. Oh, well, they got, they come out time. Care. Everybody got to vote and don't be top. You got to fix it. Everybody got to jump. We'll okay. fix this place. We're going to fix this place for you. Once I'm wrong, we'll fix it. It's embarrassing. All right. And, you know, I didn't look at it like that, yeah? But imagine for October alone, it's 2.5 million no what going on in Trinidad, you know? And, go, and let's imagine that. Look at it. And she made a good point. That caller made a good point. And I want you to cut off this part of the, cut this part of and put it up. 2.5, and then she's saying that, imagine every, look at how many people watching and know what's going on in Trinidad, 2.5 million, and even on the other, watch me, your videos, your ads, I mean all your ads, all your videos, not just crime, watching all the videos you put up, all the ads we posted, every ad is posted individually on YouTube, it got 12 million views, 12 million 80,000, just imagine that, every day, every three days we're going to monitor it, so this is Ian Allen, this is Crime Watch, can I take that last call? Hi, caller. So, ladies and, uh, la ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Have a wonderful night. And remember, what's up, Mia? Let me know, what you, let me know what's your plan. And you need to jump out there. November has started. Today is the first day. You have December. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Let me take that call before I go. Hi, caller. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful night. What's up me on 294? Wherever you are in the world, you can what's up me. 2944081. That's 18682944081. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Yo, there's a jungle out. There's a there's a